Hi, I am Deborah Mullis, and I'm going to share with you why I'm so passionate about the painting experience, a workshop where the focus is on the physical movement and act of painting, not on the end result. It's a process, it's a way of accessing and expressing one's natural born creativity. So when I was seven years old, in a second grade finger painting session, I knew in every cell of my body I wanted to be an artist. I was lit up and I proudly announced this to my teacher, a, a Catholic nun of the Dominican order. She <laughs> immediately said, oh no, Debbie, you can't be an artist. I said, why not? She said, that's not your gift. Gift, I said? What do you mean? She told me I couldn't draw realistically like another girl in the class. So I said, what's my gift? She said she didn't know and that I would have to find out for myself. I was confused. So I told my mother what happened and I asked her if it was true that I couldn't be an artist. She thought about it for a few minutes and she said, it's true. <laughs> No one in our family has ever been an artist before. You cannot be an artist. My seven-year-old brain translated that to mean it was biologically impossible for me to be an artist. Fast forward 35 years, I'm browsing through the old chapters bookstore on Orange Avenue when I find this book called Life, Paint, and Passion by Michelle Cassu and Stuart Cubley. I get this book and it feels like it's written just for me. It did take me seven years to finally sign up for a workshop, I was so scared. And I was praying the entire time that it would be different than the other art classes I'd signed up for in the past where there was always a nude model or a still life waiting to be reproduced realistically. I always got very sick beforehand and was too nervous during certain everyone already knew I wasn't an artist. The painting experience is not a typical art class. What you'll find is a table lined with beautiful paints, individual painting stations set up with paper, a few brushes, and just a couple of ground rules. Silence and don't take your paper down until you've spoken with a facilitator. For me, the painting experience is like a spiritual retreat. There is no instruction on what to paint, there's no model, no theme. There's no need to have ever picked up a paintbrush before. There's no discussion of line or composi uh, composition. There's no right or wrong, no good or bad. Finally, I felt safe. Like a yoga class, the painting experience is just between you and the paper and the paints. You listen with your heart. You feel your way through, responding to the colors that call out to you. You keep moving and you try not to think. I fell madly in love with the painting process and I started hosting the painting experience in Orlando annually in 2007. Stuart Cubley travels around the world hosting these workshops. In fact, he's going to be right here in the Orange Studios this coming February. And uh, <laughs> Stuart says that creation, if you let it, will force you out of the limited definition of who you think you are. He says, painting for process is not a self-centered activity, it's a self-exploding activity. Through many painting experience workshops, I have come face to face with energy and emotions I never knew what to do with before. Sometimes they burst out of me in huge sweeping motions, and very often they turn into very concentrated, tiny movements. I've painted my way through decades of shame and terror and confusion, anger, guilt, joy, love, sadness. And I've painted myself right to the core of my being. I have learned along the way that staying with an emotion is a very powerful thing until it, it has run its course. I have, um, through the safety of the painting experience, I have learned to trust to care and to respect. I have learned that judgment shuts a person down while heartfelt questions and sincere answers will break your soul open to infinite possibilities. 
I have also discovered that images are born in a place where language doesn't exist. They are part of our deepest feeling nature, and they bring secret parts of ourselves with them when we let them appear without judging them, good or bad. Stuart writes, Process art is a living thing. It breathes. Its heartbeat is in your soul, done for its own sake. It's an act of love, a gift to life, a prayer, a song that disappears in the wind. Now, I invite all of you to ponder these questions. Has anyone ever shut down your creative expression? What would you create if you were not afraid? What would you create if you were afraid, if no one, not even you, were judging your creation? I am deeply grateful to Stuart Cubley for the painting experience and for providing a safe, loving environment for process painting. While I still do not draw or paint realistically, I do love being a vehicle through which mysterious images come to life. And more importantly, I no longer question my creative DNA. Through the magic of spontaneous expression, I have reclaimed the gift that I knew in every cell of my being was mine all along. Thank you so much. <laughs>